One of the things that I found very attractive about the church was, uh, was the sacraments. I mean, first of all, the church seemed to have the most clear-eyed, realistic view of, of, of people in so much as you know, you have, you have the, the extreme in some um, Christian communities whereby, you know, we're all sort of, we're wretched and we're damned and that's sort of the end of it. We're defined basically by our sin. And then you've got the other extreme which just denies sin altogether. And what I was hearing from the church was, you know, all right, um, you're made in the image and likeness of God. God gives you sort of everything you need to live perfectly, but because of the effect of original sin, it's very likely that at some point you're, you're going you're gonna to fall and stumble. And there has to be a way in which you can return to the Lord. Well, the sacrament of confession, of course, is that. Um, mercy on tap, forgiveness on tap, literally an unlimited tap, was something that was very sort of attractive and compelling. And certainly something much more reliable than me just sort of praying and thinking, well, you know, my, I've, th this is all sort of taken care of. Uh, actually being forced to be in the presence of another human person and say what you did seemed to me uh, like a very, a very sensible, a very sensible thing. When it came to the Eucharist, um, there are certainly lots of people who are converts who there's just sort of this, this strong, immediate attraction to the Eucharist. I can't say that that was there in the beginning. For me, more than anything else, it was just becoming a daily communicant. Um, once I started actually uh, receiving the Eucharist. I mean, of course, you know, I, I believed, I recognized this was the body and blood of Jesus Christ, but in terms of actually really absorbing that completely and fully, that happened just with, just with repetition. Um, but I don't think, I mean, I never had sort of any theological objections to, to the Eucharist. In the end, God works through the stuff that he has created the material that he has created, whether it is a person, whether it is bread and wine. Um, certainly there are moments of, 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 of private prayer where you know, the Lord is telling us things, but that's only part of it. For the most part, it's through the sacraments and then of course also community, friends as well. Um, you know, in order for us to truly be ourselves, we need others to help us see reality Clearly, for me to be, you know, fullest Nathaniel, I need others to help me with that. So there are the, 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 the sort of the formal sacraments, the sacraments that Christ instituted. But then, of course, there's, there's the church, which has a sacramental dimension to it as well.